my phone down here.
morning, good morning, good morning. How are you this morning? We are glad to be in the house one more time. We are so glad you have chosen to worship with us today here at St. James AME Church Bartow for our annual Easter program on this Palm Sunday. Whether you're joining us in the sanctuary or watching online, we trust the youth will be encouraging it to you. Please be aware that today's service may offer, may differ from the typical worship service. Our youth will be delivering the message in ways that can, they can understand the meaning of the resurrection, who Jesus was and is, and why we use the secular items to represent his true meaning. So please sit back and listen with anticipation as the youth come to join, as the youth come to you in their own way about Jesus and his significance for us. Let us begin with our prayer by Jackson Meyer. Jesus came to earth to show us how to live, how to put others first, how to love, and how to give. Then he said about his work that God sent him to do. He took our penalty on himself. He made us clean and new. He could have saved himself calling angels from above, but he chose to pay our cost for sin. He gave it out of love. Now we'll have our scripture by Romario Rose. Good morning. Will you please, will you please stand as you find today's scripture? Today's scripture is John chapter 12, verse 12 through 16. On the next day, much people that were come to the feast when they heard Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. They took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. And Jesus went and found a young donkey and sat thereon. As it is written, Fear not, daughter of Sion, behold, thy king cometh. Sit on a donkey's butt, and these things understood not his disciples at first. But when Jesus was glorified, then remembered that these things were written of him and that they have done these things unto him. God's word for God's people. We'll have our procession of palms where the youth go back to the back and get the palms and bring them down the. Any youth can participate in this. Please go get the palms from the back and bring them down. Thank you. rejoice and be glad. This is the day that the Lord has given us. Let's give God some praises this morning. Stand on your feet and show God how much you love him. Because God is good all the time. All the time God is good.
have some beautiful and talented young kids. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have a selection by the choir.
we have our announcements and anonymous of guests, Sister Charlotte Carvin. have been angels in my life, angels who show up when a kind word is needed, when a smile or an act of caring can make a diff big difference. Yes, there have been angels in my life, and one of them is my St. James family. Thank you so much. From Toshiko Three Monroe and all of my siblings, P.S. I would be amiss if I didn't include all of the angels that looked after my husband on last Sunday with love. <laughs> Bible study Wednesday at 12 noon, Youth Emerge on Wednesday, 5.30 p.m. Please contact the church office if you need a pickup or ride. Volunteers needed for our Youth Emerge, please contact the church office for more information. Let's not forget new members, first and third Sunday is the um, new members class in the finance room at 9 a.m. March birthdays, members of St. James, please see me at the service for your token of love. There will be a crosswalk here in Bartow on Friday, March 29th at 12 noon. St. James is on the move. Let's say St. James is on the move. That's right. Pastor will be preaching at New Bethel AME Church in Winter Haven on Friday, March 29th, this Friday, at 6 p.m. This will be their seven last words of service program. So let's please um, come out and support Pastor as he preaches at New Bethel AME Church in Warner Haven Friday at 6 p.m. And let's not forget our St. James Linton Revival. This will be our last Tuesday at 7 p.m. And this Tuesday we will have the Reverend Gwendolyn Walker. She will be our speaker. And if you missed last Tuesday, you missed a treat. Pastor had us rocking up in here. I'm, I'm, I'm for real. If you don't believe me, ask Brother Carver. He was here. We, was, we were having a hallelujah time. So I would advise you to please come this last Tuesday um, for our revival and praise the Lord. So let's please come out and support this uh, with our pastor. Let's not, let's not forget the Deacon, Steward, and Alliance um, scholar, Academic Scholarship, our, our seniors, high school seniors. I have that information. Um, everything needs to be turned in no later than Friday, April 19th, 2024. Herbert Dix, 2024 Herbert Dixon Celebrity Golf Tournament. Um, you need to be signed up by March 27th, 2024. And the proceeds benefit the um, Bartos Deacons and Steward Alliance Scholarship Fund. So I have that information as well. Bartow Kiwanis, March 30, 2024, 10 o'clock a.m. Um, is their annual Easter egg hunt, refreshments, and prizes for children through age nine. At the location is the McLeod Park Stewart Avenue. So that is the location of the annual Easter egg hunt. Spring Alive, a free community event, Saturday, March 30th, 2024, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Carver Recreational Center. It is the um, Easter Egg Hunt, the annual Bartow Easter Egg Hunt, ages 0 to 3, 10 a, 10.30 a.m., ages 4 to 7, 11 a.m., and ages 8 to 12, 11.30 a.m. Music food, games, prizes, fun for the whole family. Bartow Fire Department and Police uh, Department um, demonstrations and a special thanks. They have uh, different community um, individuals and companies, but it is the Spring Alive Free Community Event, Saturday, March 30th, 2024, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Carver Recreational. We couldn't find a card that adequately expresses our gratitude for the way you have honored us for the years that we have been married. This little note is meant to bring a thank you of a very special kind. 
thank you so much for the delicious dinner at Ruth's Chris. And to top it off, we had a chauffeur. Being married for 52 and three-fourth years has truly been a blessing from God. On June 26, 1971, we were just starting our journey. Thrilled that we were finally going to be together. We never thought about how long that would be. But God has blessed us through the good and the not so good, and as our, as our vows has said, through health and sickness for richer or for poor. And he has allowed us to allow us to raise our children and see some of our grandchildren grow into adulthood. How awesome is God? We praise and thank him daily for all these blessings. We thank God for our church family who has supported us through these years. May God bless each of you as you continue your unselfish ways of honoring others. With eternal gratitude, brother and sister, Harry and Carolyn Williams. Do we have any new visitors with us today? Any new visitors worshiping with us? Praise God. Thank you. We have new visitors. Hebrews 13, chapter 2nd, verse says, Don't forget to show hospitality to strangers, for some who have done this have entertained angels without realizing it. St. James AME Barta would like to welcome you here with us today. Please come back and fellowship with us anytime. We would love to see you. And just know that we are the better because you chose to worship with us today. Thank you so much. Any other announcements? Good morning, everybody. I'd like to have a little token for my mom. Her birthday is uh, March 22nd. She turned 80 years old. thought you were just 40 years old. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the service. Thank you. The angels bow down at the thought of you. The darkness gives way to the light for you. The price that you paid give us life brand new. Hosanna forever. We worship you, Hosanna forever, we worship you. Come on. The angels bow down at the thought of you. The darkness gives way to the light for you. The price that you paid give us life brand new, Hosanna forever, we worship you, Hosanna forever, we worship you hallelujah for this is the day that the lord has made i've come to rejoice and be glad in it i don't know about anybody else but i'm glad to shout hosanna 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 in the highest the king has entered in amen and we are ever more grateful here at St. James that you decided to worship with us as we've come to celebrate on this Palm Sunday. Amen. We have our own special way of greeting one another here at St. James AME Church. Amen. We get up, we go find our visitors. Amen. And we give them a fist bump and we let them know that we are glad to have them here in the house of God called St. James AME Church. Get them, find somebody you didn't come with, tell them, welcome. We're so glad. Welcome to St. James. Welcome to St. James. We come to lift our hand. Oh, welcome to St. James. You can be free. Say, welcome to St. Welcome to St. We're so glad you came. Welcome to St. James. We've come to give God praise. Oh, welcome. 
Clap those hands. Give God praise. Amen. 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 A, a, a couple of more announcements for us as we begin to move forward um, in our morning program and our production that the youth are so anxiously, amen, awaiting to share with us on today. Um, I do want to remind you, um, amen, about the sunrise service that's going to take place um, here in the city of Bartow um, on next Sunday. Amen. Uh, right before the sun come up. Amen. And so if you're available to come on out and worship with us, amen, at the Mosaic Park um, here in Bartow, we'll be ever more grateful um, for you to join us. Amen. We are in prayer. We are in prayer for one of our members here, um, Sister Chambers. Um, she, she lost her five-day-old child, um, and we are in prayer here um, at St. James with her um, and her family. Um, and the service is going to be on, on this Saturday um, at 1 p.m. at Whitten McLean Funeral Home. At Whitten McLean Funeral Home. And I want to see all of you there. Amen. I want to see all of you. There's a young lady here um, in our church um, who lost her child. And uh, we want to stand with her. Amen. As a congregation, we want to stand with her and let her know that her church um, is standing um, with her. Amen. And so if you, this is this Saturday, this coming Saturday, I want to, somebody say everybody. everybody. 
Uh, musicians, I want to see you there. Sound crew, they don't even got no sound to work, but I want to see you there. Ushers, I want to see you there. Safety team, I want to see you there. Uh, it's important, amen, that we stand with one another. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that we bear each other's burdens. Amen. Amen. And so we're going to stand with this sister um, as she says goodbye to her son. Amen. And I ask that you would stand with your pastor. Um, amen. As I try to say a few words um, of comfort um, for the family as well. So that's going to take place on this Saturday at 1 p.m. at Whit McLean Funeral Home. And I endeavor that you would join us on that day as well. Amen. Brother Darren is going to come. Um, he has some information um, that he's going to share with us. And after Brother Darren, I believe our youth are going to then kick off um, their production for today. So once Brother Darren is through, um, it's back into your hands, Sister Celeste, Sister Carolyn. Good morning. I am here uh, to help us kick off our Matthew 25 challenge. A Matthew 25 challenge. So you've heard the pastor talk about uh, us and him going to Africa and we supporting uh, children of need and of poverty. Well, that's what our Matthew 25 challenge is. And so right now you guys have pamphlets. I think everybody has that. And you know, when you look at the verses, the verse, the scripture of Matthew 25, it says, For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you visited uh, and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. And that is the scripture of Matthew 25, uh, 35 through 40. And so what we're going to do is we're inviting everyone in our church to join in in the challenge. And so we're trying to get a video ready up here in a minute. But if you look at your pamphlet up at the top, the first thing I want you to do is look at your phone. Take your phone. There's a rip. There's a there's an orange uh, buffer here at the top, and it tells you to text. And that's St. James Bartow, uh, Matthew 25, S J B M 25 to that number 56170. By doing that, you'll be a part of our challenge. If you look at the back side of that paper, you'll see six days. And so the reason we, we take this challenge is our, um, kind of identifying with what children who are in poverty uh, are living with and what they're going through. What does their daily life look like? And so you'll see on the bottom, six days starting tomorrow, uh, a challenge, a sacrifice, a sacrifice. We talk about sacrifice quite often here uh, in our church. Um, and so there are six days in which we sacrifice something that we have that comes to us pretty easily and readily and daily um, so that we can identify with those who don't. And that's what we're trying to do. And so up here, you've got uh, uh, just quickly what we talked about, pulling out your phone, texting that SJBM25 to that number. Uh, it'll give you a bounce back and what it'll do is as we get to Monday you'll get reminders of what our challenge is so we're encouraging you to do that and if we could move to our video I want you to take a moment and just watch the video Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you are blessed by my father. Take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you give me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you give me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. And the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? 
When did we see you a stranger and invited you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. The Matthew 25 challenge is a transformational moment for my family and I. There's one particular day when the challenge is to sleep on the floor. And I walked by my daughter's room. She was already there on her sleeping bag reading her Bible. The Matthew 25 challenge was an incredibly spiritual experience for me personally. God was teaching us different things every day, and sharing it with each other was really exciting. Well, when it came to the Water Day Challenge, three words come to mind. Caffeine, withdrawal, headaches. Going without coffee all day was a lot harder than I thought. I would get these headaches, but every time I did, it would remind me of the six-kilometer walk that women and children have to do to get unclean water. My first thought was, this will be easy. I grew up missing meals and sleeping on the floor but my daughters, not so much. They were challenged to come out of their Wi-Fi life and actually experience what kids around the world experience every single day. Thank you. So again, we're inviting you today join our challenge starting tomorrow six days this leads up to a big event later in april where we actually have an unveil and we will as members of the church and pastors um, talk to us about being members who who are willing to go out and um, sponsor children and so that opportunity will come uh, later in the month the next month and then um, he's going to go and actually go take the trip and will be in, in, in Africa when, when the students, uh, the children, uh, select us uh, as, as people who, who, who they sponsor. So um, it's about choosing, making people feel loved. And I know as members of St. James, uh, that's in our hearts and we're good to do that. So again, start now by texting here. Follow the challenge. If you don't have a phone, follow the challenge. It's going to be something that we can talk about, something that we have opportunities to to, to reflect upon, and it should be a spiritual moment for each of us when we do so. So thank you. We'll move along with the program. We'll have a praise dance by St. James Praise Dancers.
One of these good old days, Mr. Les gonna get out here and join y'all. Now 
will have the benevolent offering. Good morning. I want to read something to you guys uh, that I came across about uh, the beginning of the church. It says, Now all who believed were together and had all things in common and sold their possessions and goods and divided them among all as anyone had need. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. Uh, reading that, it shows from the beginning the church was taking care of the church. And that's what the benevolent offering is about, taking care of our own. So we want to be able to help people when they're in their times of need. But I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will reap also bountifully. So let each one give as he proposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having sufficiency in all things, may have abundance for every good work. As it is written, he has dispersed abroad. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. Now may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. While you are enriched in everything for all liberality, which causes thanksgiving through us to God, for the administration of this service not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also is abounding through many thanksgivings to God. While through the proof of the ministry, they glorify God for the obedience of your confession to the gospel of Christ and for your liberal sharing with them all and all men. And by their prayer for you, Heavenly Father, we come to you right now, Father God, saying thank you, Father God. Father God, thank you for those who gave and those who wanted to give, Father God. But we're just asking that you bless us, Father God. Give us increase, Father God, not only financially, but spiritually, Father God. Continue to look over us, Father God. Continue to help your spirit, let your spirit dwell within us. All these things in Jesus Christ's name, amen. have the meaning of Easter by the nursery group. Easter means different things to different people. For the people that believe in Jesus Christ, it is about the love of God in Jesus Christ. Hear what Easter means to the kids.
E is for everlasting life. God promised this to everyone who has faith in Jesus Christ. People who follow the words of Jesus will get to live with God forever. Here's A for Elena. A for all the reasons that Jesus God invested and tested all in all people on earth. S is for sacrifice. Jesus Christ gave up his life to pay for the sins of all people because he loves us. He gave something different, something important so we wouldn't have to. Okay, some of my other students ain't here, so I'm going to just um, say the rest of it. T is for trust. If we trust in God and Jesus, we can live a happily life. Trust means being sure that God and Jesus will be there for us, even when we, even when we can't see him. E is for eternity. God says we can live forever with him if we follow Jesus Christ. And eternity never ends and includes when we are alive after we die. R is for restoration. It's for restoration, which means Jesus came back from the dead to lead the people. By doing this impossible things, he showed us all that his message and powers are real. is alive. That's King Park. <laughs> this part is hallelujah. Now we'll have a poetic reading by Jackson Myers. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's a selection by the youth choir.
will have our poetic reading by Jackson Myers. Jesus lives, life he gives. What a happy day, heroes. Gladness shows it's a happy day. Now we'll have a reading by Natalia Maybell. Is come and see. Come and see, the angel said. Christ is risen from the dead. He is not here for you to roast. Now the news you must disclose. Go and tell that he's alive. Go and tell his life will thrive. Go and tell he's not here. Now there's no need to fear. Another reading by Ariana Taylor. Nailed to the cross. Jesus was nailed to the cross. He was kicked, pushed, and tossed. There are no faults found in him, but he was still nailed to the cross. He was mocked, teased, laughed at, frowned upon, and frowned upon. And on his head they made him wear a crown of thorns. To Christ, that was okay because he knew he would rise on the third day. Yes, they nailed him to the cross. And I stand here with joy because I am not lost. And they nailed him to the cross. Another reading by Ladella Brown. Look at all our Easter eggs, red, blue, and green. Aren't they the prettiest eggs? The best eggs you ever seen. Jesus rose again and to whip our sins away. Now we have a skit. It's I am that I am. Hey, wait, pause. Don't eat the... Hey, wait, pause. Don't eat those bags of M&Ms. Jesus is found somewhere in a bag of M&Ms. Don't be... Don't be silly. Jesus is not in a bag of M&Ms. Well, our Sunday school teacher, Miss Celeste, said that Jesus is the great M&M. I never heard Miss Celeste say that Jesus is a great m and M. Well, I don't know about that because it's in the Bible. Jesus said, I am the great M&M. Ha, 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 ha. Miss Celeste said that Jesus proclaims to be the great I am. He said, great I am, that I am. Let's let the kids tell us exactly what Jesus said. Let's listen. John, John chapter 4, 
verse 25 through 26. The woman said, the woman said, I know that the Messiah is coming. And when he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus declared that I am who you speak of. I am he. I am that I am the Messiah. John 6, 35. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry. And he, who, he who believes in me will never be thirsty. I am that I am the bread of life. John 14, 6 says, Jesus answered, for I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, for I am that I am, the way, the truth, and the life. John 8, 58. I tell you the truth, Jesus answered. Before Abraham was born, I am. I am that I am, the eternal one. John 10, 7. Therefore, Jesus said again, I tell you the truth. I am the gate for the sheep. I am that I am the gate. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down for his sheep. I am that I am the good John 10, 5, 36. I'm God's son. I am that I am the son of God. John chapter 9, verse 5. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. I am that I am the light of the world. John chapter 11, verse 25. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes me will live even though he dies. I am that I am the resurrection and the life. John 13, 13, you call me the teacher and the Lord, that, and rightly so, that is what I am. I am that I am the teacher and Lord. John 15, verse 1, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. I am that I am the true vine. Revelations chapter 1, verse 8. I am the Alpha and Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. I am that I am the Alpha and Omega. Yeah. Well, that's something I didn't know about. Well, well, that's something I didn't know about. What else is there about Jesus and M&M's that we haven't uncovered yet? There's something about them colors. Just listen. The dark, the dark M&M's remind us of our sin. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The yellow M&M stands for the bright heavenly light that Jesus brings into our souls when we pray and trust him. The red M&M's stand for the blood that flowed from Jesus Christ when he died on the cross as punishment for our sins. The green M&M is for our spiritual growth. Just like green grass grows, Jesus wants us to grow spiritually. 
And finally, the white M&Ms stand for Jesus forgiving and washing away all our sins, where he has cleaned us. Well, I guess we did find Jesus in the M&M's. Well, I guess we did find Jesus in the M&M's. Jesus is the great I am. Take some M&M's and these are great M&M's. Here goes some M&M's. Jesus is the great I am. Thank you. Now we'll have a hymn by the youth choir. Because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone because I know, oh, oh, oh who holds the future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. Can I sing it one more time? Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Anybody glad he lives today? Because he lives, all fear is gone, and because I know oh, who holds the future, and life is worth and life is worth with tears in my eyes and life is worth body wrecking with pain and life is worth the living just because he lives because he lives yes sir I can face tomorrow come on help me sing it because he lives all fear is gone because I know oh, 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 he holds my future and life is worth the living just because he lives. Christ lives. Anybody know he lives? He lives. Where does he live? Down in my soul. He lives in my soul. He lives in my soul. He lives in my soul. Yeah, 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 yeah. He lived in my soul. He lived in my, 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 my. He lived in my soul. He lives in my soul. Let the church say yes. That's your part right there. Yes. 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 If you love him, say yes. 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 
Yes, 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 yes. If he made a way for you, I dare you to shout yes, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I dare you right where you are, begin to worship God. Hallelujah. 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 He lives. 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 Oh. He lives. He lives. Yeah. Jesus loves me. Yes. Jesus loves me. Yeah. Jesus. So can we sing that all over the sanctuary? Say yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Everybody, yeah, Jesus. For the Bible, the Bible tell me so. Come on, lift it up. Say yeah. Yeah, Let's stand all over the sanctuary. Yeah, Jesus, love. with all of my forces. Yeah, yeah. The Bible it tells, tells me so. See, yeah, yeah, yes. Shout, yeah, 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 oh, oh, yeah, yeah, he, he loves me, he loves me, the Bible, he tells me, he tells me, so let me hear you see, yeah, see, yeah, yeah, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus loved me. He loved me. The Bible. One more time, lift it up. Shout, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nobody loves me like you love me. I'm sorry, I forgot where I was. Nobody, yeah. Nobody loves me like you love me, yeah. Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me one more time to yeah. yeah. No, nobody loves me like you love me, yeah. Jesus, nobody loves me like you love me, yeah. Jesus, love me. No. We're going to do it one more time for the youth. Hey, hey yeah, yeah. Jesus, nobody loves me like you love me, yeah. Nobody loves it like you love me. Yeah. yeah. The Bible tells me to put those hands together. Clap those hands. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Ah. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Hallelujah. The youth have the youth have led us. Amen. They led us to the cross and they recited more scriptures that I could rewind in my head. Amen. They did such a wonderful... Can we celebrate our youth today? Amen. Amen. Did a wonderful job in, in, in reciting and acting. Amen. We got a production team here. Amen. At St. James. Amen. And we are grateful for it, amen, that God has blessed us uh, with an opportunity. We do want to open the doors of the church, amen, and extend an opportunity, amen, to someone who may have walked in here today and said, Preacher, um, I want to give my life to Christ on Palm Sunday. I want to give my life to God on Palm Sunday. And we want to give you that opportunity on this morning. And so if that's you this morning or you saying, well, preacher, I'm saved and I know God, um, but I would like to join St. James AME Church. Listen, I would love to be your pastor. I would love to be your pastor. In fact, if you could do me a favor, I want you to um, evangelize your neighbor. Amen. I want you to ask your neighbor two questions on this Palm Sunday. The first question is, are you saved? And the next question is, do you have a local church home? Amen. And if that person said no to any one of those questions and they feel comfortable, amen, coming to the altar, tell them, I'll walk with you. Amen. I will walk with you. You won't have to walk by yourself. I'll walk with you. I'll stand with you. And i even pray with you. If that's one, we invite you today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. We thank you so much. We're going to move now into our tithe and offering time. Amen. Sister Ryan Williams and Sister Tiana Red, um, they are going to be leading us in our giving on, on this morning. Amen. Y'all come on up here. Now, let me tell y'all what y'all ask the people to give, okay? Both of y'all going to get an opportunity to ask the people to give, okay? Um, you have six ways to give in person, PayPal, Cash App, online, text, and mail. We want $20 a piece on this Palm Sunday. Yes. $20 a piece. So, everybody on, on this side, can we please stand up and make our way down to the offering station, please? Please and thank you. Everybody that is offering on this side, stand up, rise, my father's children. God is good. God is good. Twenty dollars a piece. Twenty dollars a piece. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. God is good. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. God bless. If, if y'all got y'all phones, our cash app is dollar sign S T J B F. PayPal is St. James Barto. 
That is stjamesbarto.org. Everybody on this side now, can we please rise? Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless y'all. God bless. where all the kids will play a part. If we can get all the kids to line up to the back of the church, all youth to the back of the church, and they're going to parade around the church for St. James. On behalf of the Christian Ed Department, we thank all of the parents and the youth for participating today. Thank you so much, parents, for sending your kids out.
are to meet in the finance room right out the church today, please. All stewards meet in the finance room at the church. Now I will turn it over to our pastor. Amen. I was one. I said, how many times the kids gonna walk around? I wonder if they gonna. I wonder if they gonna realize. <laughs> After that first one, I would have sat out. <laughs> yeah, but these some obedient, because Chloe's still walking. Amen. <laughs> Amen. They was walking like they needed some walls to come down. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I want to thank, I want to thank our Christian Ed Department, our YPD, um, and all those who um, took the time to help us, amen, um, in doing this and making this happen, amen. I was, I was reading a, um, a study, um, and it shows that 80% of churches are, are made up of women. Did y'all know that? 80% of churches are made up of women, amen. And it, it's no secret that our Christian ed department and those who've worked with our children are also made up of women. Amen. Amen. And, and the month of March is the month that we celebrate Women Heritage Month. Amen. Yeah. So there's no secret, amen, that without women, amen, we wouldn't have the church that we have today and we wouldn't be where we are today. And if anybody would be clapping, it would be the brothers, amen, that can thank God, amen, amen, for the women um, in our congregation. And so I want to call, call back up Sister Carolyn, um, Sister Celeste, and Tay. Come on, these are the women responsible. These are the women responsible uh, for for pulling this off. Amen. Yeah. Jamila as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jamila as well. All the women. All the women. We got four of them. Uh, I need another rose packet early. Okay. One, two, three. One. Yes, yes, it's the team. Sister Carolyn says it's the team, and this is the team that we have here um, at St. James. No, we got a rose for you. We got a rose for you um, coming down now. Amen. Amen. You'll never be able to catch me off guard. Even when you caught me off guard, I'm, I'm still ready. You do understand. Amen. Can we celebrate our four women? Thank you all so much. Thank you so much. Y'all take those and put them in some water. And put a cap full of bleach in there if you wanted to stay alive. There's a new movie that's about to come out um, starring Shirley Chisholm. Um, and if you did not know, Shirley Chisholm um, is right here from Florida. She was an AME. Yeah, so, you know, we, we get excited about AMEs when we find out Shirley Chisholm. Um, um, right to AME, her funeral was held right in Palm Coast, Palm Coast, Florida, um, at an AME church. Amen. Yeah, the first African-American female um, elected to Senate. And so here at St. James, there are a couple of women um, that we, we're going to give the Shirley Chisholm Unsung Hero Award to. Amen. We have four women that we would like to highlight um, today. And one of them happens to be her birthday today. Amen. Sister Nita Sanders. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 
Let me also preface with this. They have no idea who they are. <laughs> yeah. Just put them all there and give them, just put them all there. Yeah. Oh, yes, give me a hug, pie. <laughs> we got these flowers for you. Yeah, and we just wanted to say thank you so much for all the hard work you've done here at St. James down through the years. Amen. Amen. And, and, uh, <laughs> we are so grateful for what you've contributed and continue to do here at St. James. And we want to let you know that we love you, we see you, and we know that you are praying for St. James and we are praying for you. And oftentimes when people fall down, and they are no longer used to the church, we try to throw them aside. And we neglect the hard work and the stuff that they did for 20 and 30 years for the church. And I want to let you know that this church understands and we appreciate the work that you've done here at St. James AME Church. And we wanted to give you your flowers while you can still smell them. You do understand. Come on, y'all, let's celebrate her again. Yeah, yeah, I ain't going to let you say nothing, so go on back to your seat. <laughs> Another sister I want to bring up, um, Sister Emma Reese, come on here. Yeah, Sister Emma Reese, yeah. Now, Sister Reese is, 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 a, is a member that will make sure her pastor has eaten. She makes sure her pastor has eaten. And Sister Reese makes sure that I'm prayed for. You know, she looks after her pastor and she, she don't mind serving the Lord with gladness. Anything I ask Sister Reese to do, she, she'll jump on it and do it immediately. Amen. Uh, she's part of our stewardess board here at the church. And she makes sure that on, sun, on the first Sunday uh, that the stuff is white. Her and the entire stewardess board make sure that things look good. Amen. And we want to say to you, Sister Reese, um, that we love you. We appreciate all the hard work that you've committed here at St. James and all the things that you will do here at St. James. Thank you so much. Y'all, let's give her another hand. Yes, ma'am. What's up? Go get him. Another sister I want to bring up, Sister Margie Jones. Sister Margie Jones. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. We want to make sure you get these roses today. Uh, sister Mar Now, let me tell you all about Sister Margie, uh, just if you all don't know about Sister Margie. Um, when, I, when I first got here, and you remember I had got King and Chloe, um, by, by whatever happened, I got the two. And um, I did not know what I was doing, and um, I ain't have time for nothing. And Sister Margie had committed, Pastor, I, I babysit the kids. I, get the, I try to give her money and things like that. She wouldn't accept money from me for babysitting the kids, and she just met, kept kept looking out and giving me the opportunity. I had to preach places, and I couldn't take the kids, and she'd be like, Pastor, I, drop the kids off to me, and, and I'll handle it. And it was like, 
I got to get a better stand. Um, it, it, it was, con I mean, it was almost every week that she would make sure um, that the children had eaten and was well taken care of. Because one day I had the kids all day and they were crying, crying up something. I put them in bed and everything. They were crying up something. And I was on the phone uh, with my friend girl in um, Dallas and she said, um, <laughs> she said, she said, have they eaten? And they hadn't eaten, y'all. I hadn't fed them for the whole day. I hadn't fed, because I hadn't eaten them. I figured, that, well, if I ain't hungry, they ain't hungry. And so I had to, and so it, rem, and so Sister Margie made sure, she made sure that I was feeding those kids so I wouldn't go to jail, y'all. You do understand. <laughs> that I was feeding them on time. They was getting the daycare and things like that. And I wanted to publicly tell you, thank you so much. Amen. Because let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Taking care of the pastor is taking care of the church. I'm going to say it again. Taking care of the pastor is taking care of the church. Amen. And so I want to thank you so much publicly um, for all that you do here at the church and all that you do for others. Thank you so much. Yes. I have one more. One more. And we're getting ready to get out of here. Um, our last one. Um, for this Palm Sunday, amen, um, is Sister Edna McNair. Yeah. Yeah, Sister Edna McNair. We got these roses for you. I didn't tell anybody. Sister Edna, we want to say thank you so much. Sister Edna is our communion driver. She won't, she won't let the pastor drive. I don't know if she's scared of my driving or what, but she won't let me drive. But Sister Edna is our communion group driver. We go out on the first uh, Tuesday of the month and go visit the sick and the shut-in. And Sister Edna is our driver, and she makes sure she calls um, the persons before we get there and let them know, hey, we are on the way to commune you. Um, we'll be there in about an hour or so. And so I'm so grateful for Sister Edna and all that she does here um, at St. James AME Church. She's also a part of our stewardess board here at the church, a part of our lay ministry on the district level. And so we are so grateful for you, Sister Edna, um, for all you do here at St. James AME Church. We wanted to tell you we love you. Amen. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And and these are these are persons, um, just in case somebody say, well, who who picked those people? The pastor picked them. Amen. Pastor picked them. Amen. Well, why pastor get to pick them? I bought the roses. Amen. <laughs> it ain't come out no church money and I bought the roses. Amen. So pastor picked them. Amen. And 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 I, I wanted to make sure I highlight persons within our congregation. Amen. And we'll continue to do this, but I wanted to make sure we highlight the women. Amen. And Women Heritage Month. Amen. I want to make sure we highlighted them. They want to pass this moment on um, past. My preaching professor in school told me, never ignore the givens. Never ignore the givens. That if God gives you something, don't ignore it, but celebrate the givens. Amen. And so I do want to let you know that the church, we bought a table um, for the um, Hearst Chapel Lay Gala. Uh, it's right here in Bartow at the Civic Center on this Saturday at, from 6 to 10 p.m. 6 to 10 p.m. and I want to, we got eight tickets, amen. So that means eight people can go. So if you would like to participate, it's a formal event. You dress up nice, go eat, fine dining and dancing and stuff um, right at the Civic Center on this Saturday. So if you would like to go um, see Brother Monroe, amen. He got eight tickets for you. Um, well, he will have eight tickets for you um, after service so that you can um, go check out Hearst Chapel's lay um, organization gala. Amen. Amen. We have cake downstairs and punch downstairs. 
um, for um, everyone. Amen. We want everybody to come on downstairs, uh, but particularly our honorees. Um, you have a different type of cake we have for each one of you. And so go down to the head table, our honorees today. Go down to the head table and um, get your cake and your punch. And, and we want to let you know we do it big here at St. James. This ain't no Walmart cake, you do understand. This ain't no Sam's cake. I want to let you, ain't no Winn-Dixie you can hang it up and save a lot who, you do understand. But this is a Publix cake, yeah. A Publix, yeah. We imported it for you. Yeah, we imported it for you. We could have got it from the Bartow Publix, but we went down to Highland City, you do. <laughs> I go to Highland City so I don't run into nobody I know. <laughs> Y'all will get that when you get to the house. Amen. Amen. Brother Monroe, you got an announcement? Yes, sir. Now, y'all see these cards, nice cards y'all got? Y'all got them cell phones. All we need you to do is text SJBM25 to 56170. In fact, we're going to give you that give you that opportunity to do that now. You got 30 seconds to text that number and also do your selfie before we get out of here. You're going to text it and you're going to get your selfie before you get out of here. You got 30 seconds. Grab those phones out. Grab those phones and text. Amen. Give us some texting on music. SJBM25 to 56170. Now everybody should be texting. The only people not texting is disobedient folk. <laughs> y'all youth, I want to see y'all text too. Y'all got phones. You got 15 seconds. Amen. Let us stand all over the sanctuary. Amen. This Saturday at 1 p.m. again, we're going to be gathering at the funeral home at 1 p.m. this Saturday. Um, and I invite you to join us. Amen. Sister Carol, if we can get a resolution. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'll take it. Yeah. Thank you all so much for joining us. Let's give another hand for our youth and the wonderful job that they've done today. Amen. And um, to our youth that raised our offering on this morning. Amen. Y'all let me know what that number is because depending on how they did, they're going to raise it next Sunday. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let's go to God in prayer. Our Father, our God, we are ever more grateful that you've blessed us with the opportunity to be here today. Now, God, we ask that you will be with us as we leave this space called Sanctuary. Give us traveling grace and mercy. And as we head back to our places of dwelling, God, allow us to find it better than we left it. Lord, bless the cake in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you Tuesday for Revival.
testing one, two. Check one, two, check, check. That's still not loud. That's the house. Check one, two, check one, two.